Okay. It's fine. Ah, so you're back, I see. <laughs> Having some download troubles. <laughs> Go! What did I say last time? You picked all four ropes already, Mario. Yep. I know. I know. So what are you going to choose this time? Mm. Don't keep I'm me waiting. Blue today. Blue. 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 Yep, it's called blue. I'm feeling blue today. All right, plumber. Here's your prophetic future. It's all coming into focus. Oh! <laughs> Finish! <laughs> I predict that you'll soon fall head over heels. <laughs> oh, man. Chapter 5. Well, you recall what we have to do, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Tell me. Uh, you go to the next area. How? How? Uh, y you walk towards the area. You, re you don't remember that at all, do you? Do you uh, at least remember where the fifth crystal star is? Give me two seconds. I'm trying to remember. Um. You mean brain hurty. Uh, Heel Hall Key. Key Hall Key, yes. It is an island, so where do you think we go to. How do you think we get to islands? Uh, a ship. Oh, yeah. you have to go to the dock. Yeah! Yeah! And look at this. That's an interesting looking pirate ship. This ain't a pirate ship. Any ship that's like that is a pirate ship. That ain't a pirate ship. It's a pirate ship. The yeah, ship up there? She belongs to Flavio, the merchant trader. He don't sail too often though, mostly he hangs out Podley's joint in the plaza. Podley? Oh, this Crystal Skull guy! Yep, that's the guy! What?! We finally get to do something with him! Please tell me you get to steal his Crystal Skull. Steal his Crystal Skull, bro, come on! What? You crystal stop skull. singing! And what do you want, ah? Huh? Who, me you ask about? Ah, I am called Flavio. I am, how you say, a traitor. The richest man in Rogueport. Yeah, let's go. Monetary wealth gives me freedom, yes. And freedom gives me wealth of spirit. And yet, why is it that a man whose life is unchained must always long for yet more, ah? Huh? What is missing from my life? It's tears on my very insides. I must know, what do I lack? Love? Oh. Well, you know what? It's in there, so I'm just going to I'm going to press on it. You agree? Okay. Oh, you I agreed. didn't think. Yeah. Okay. I I couldn't see what I couldn't tell what it was because of the ch color changes. Yeah. Yeah. Let's put that. Romance, you say? Ah, huh? I suppose one just needs a romance in life. What do over sweet, delectable fruit can make so many wonderful pasta sauces? Ah, no, foolish Flavio, not romance, you silly man. What I need is romance. Yes. Wait, hold the horses! That is it! Now that I'm thinking about it, I once heard of the treasure of Cortez, the Pirate King. Yes, this is the answer. Oh, such happiness for me. I hunt for pirate treasure. Why, that just shrieks of romance and thrills and emotion and even money. Do you not know the tale? The Pirate King treasure hidden on Keyhole Key? Wow, the luck in that. Ah, well, tales say that the Pirate King Cortez hid his horde of pirate booty there. For years, treasure hunters and ruffians have gone there in search of the loot. But not a single one of them has ever returned. Oh my god, I'm about to throw up from talking like this. I'm gonna read one word from this text. And then take another drink. Eek! Mm, huh. I see. Oh! 
But that will not stop Flavio! Yes! Oh, that treasure is there! Yes! And I'm going to prove it! For I am Flavio! Trader extraordinaire! Millionaire! Sailor of the Seven Seas! There's only four oceans. What is that you are saying? You are also looking for a treasure? Here in Rogueport? Why talk such craziness? There isn't anything like that in this dull armpit of a town. You cannot be believing each stupid rumor about treasure some street urchin spews out. <laughs> Dude, look what you're doing. No, 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 no. Now what madness comes bursting from your mouth? You have a treasure map? Wait, well, hand it over. Rather, I mean, show me. You are having a choke on me. This map leads straight to Key Hockey. You swine! You need to steal my treasure out from under me, you awful, awful man! Well, now I'm confused. You are looking for things known as the Crystal Stars? Oh, yeah. But now that I'm thinking, a star-shaped stone was said to be in Cortez's hoard. Perhaps I could sell it for a staggering amount of cash. Yes, that would be... Ah, stop, stop such thoughts, Flavio. What you need is romance, flills, and emotions. I cannot ignore what this business before me suggests. This must be fate at work. Flavio shall go with you to Key Hall Key. Of course, the crystal star is yours. Yes, but the rest of the treasure is mine. Huh? You must repeat that. Flavio's ears are plugged. You have no ship? <laughs> you unfortunate foolish man. Do you not know who I am? I will have a ship ready in no time. It will be massive and glorious and very, very bright. Splendid, splendid, splendid. Let us begin preparations immediately, shall we? I will volunteer myself as our intrepid leader. Yes, and you will be Captain Italian Plumber. Ah, danger and adventure tickle my nostrils. Come to the harbor right away. He took the crystal skull. No. Well, yeah, because it's his. I wish you could steal it. No. Come on, hero. I I need I need to go I need to go faster. I feel like he's gonna betray you and steal the crystal star. He seems too greedy. Are you sure about that? <laughs> he seems really greedy. Oh, so he's the only one on the ship that seems really greedy. No! Oh, wow, okay. I just saw <laughs> it. I just saw it. My bad, my bad. Ah, yes! So it's you, huh? Well, sadly, a slight problem seems to have popped up. But feast your eyes on this outrageously fantastic ship! She's a fine vessel, no? She is the Estes Flavion, the queen of the countless ships in my personal fleet. The raw majesty, majesty of her whole, the pomp and circumstance, none can compare to her. Ah! Behold the elegant curve of her brow. She cuts to the very soul. Don't you agree? But she is not just a beauty. She is a savage beast on the water. Top among sailboats. But above all, I tell you, this proud ship can. Ah, yes? Did you speak? Yes, 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 of course. The problem has sprung up. I have completely forgotten about it. The SS Flavion, she bewitches me. Yes, well, here's the issue. We... I have no navigator. He ran off, the dog. The navigator, of course, is the highest ranked helmsman. They steer ships, you know. Now, here's the real problem. The waters around Keyhole Key are definitely dangerous. We need an absurdly skilled helmsman for a navigator. It is a, how do you say, a pickle. Oi, Flavio! Heard you talking there, sir. If you don't mind me saying, I might have a solution. Do not tease me, Papatch! You can solve our problem and spit it out already! Papatch? Oh my god. <laughs> well, sir, I don't talk about a fame! No, a legendary sailor living in Rogueport! I think he's called Amal Barbary! A salty old sea dog, by all accounts! But he said to have Helmsman's touch, sir! He can make any ship bow to his will! Thing is, there is so what's seen him on the seas of late! That's a boom! Problem solved! Let's get this Bobbery fellow and get him on board! As is customary, my cat will handle all negotiations. That will be you, Mario. That does sound fair to everyone, does it not? Then 
it is decided. We must find this Bobbery and bring him here. Our fortune sails with you. Mm. They, did they, his name is really Papatch. This guy? The Bobo? Yes, his name is yeah. actually Papatch. Oh my god, uh, brother. <laughs> at least to meet at your acquaintance. <laughs> yeah. Off to that island, are you? Well, at least finding a ship is the best in the harbor. Yeah, I'll be fine as long as you don't see any ghosts. But mm -hmm. if it's a prime skin curse, it's real. There ain't a ship on the sea that can save you. Jesus. I'm Bob Aubrey. Now you mentioned it, I heard that bloke was a navigator like no other. Of course, I ordered he was dead. That's through finger rumors. What's true? What if he is a ghost? Hi, Bob Aubrey. Yeah, 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 sure, that bloke used to practically live at Polly's place on the plaza. He'd stare too late every now and then. That lovely wife of his would pick him up. Okay, well, we know where to look. <laughs> yeah. A seaman with a wife. This guy is. This guy actually has a pretty good life. A I don't want to read Flavio's text again. <laughs> I agree. That hurts my throat. Podly! Podly! Oh, there you are. Emma Bobbery? Yeah. Yeah, I know him. You know that house just past the wall in the eastern part of town? That's his. But I think both you and he will be better off if you just let him be. Nope, we're breaking and entering. Yep, let's go. Yep. You... The requirement is... You must... What you call it? You can get into this house before you complete chapter four. You must have the paper ability. The paper roll ability. Paper roll ability. Mm -hmm. And since this is Miss... We're breaking and entering... Miss Mouse! He's a bobbery. What do you blocks what? I'm a bobbery? I haven't the faintest idea what you're talking about. Now, if you please. Don't be so coy, Admiral. We already found out your identity. Harumph! What poppycock? Tell me, what would you want with me if I were this chap? You say your ship needs a navigator, and you want me to do the job, hmm? So sorry. But you'll have to look elsewhere. I shall set sail upon the sea, nevermore! But don't be like that. We truly need your help. Can't you see that? Without you, we'll surely meet our ends on the way to Key Hole Key. Awfully sorry, dear boy. But when I say no, what I mean is no! Now, away with you! Hmm. Your thoughts, Mario? We don't seem to get, be getting anywhere with this man. I can't help but wonder, what could turn such a man against the sea? I think our only option is to ask around and see if anyone knows his tale. Yeah. Where's his wife? What? Where's his wife? Well, that's the thing. You say Palbury won't go to sea, huh? Well, can't say that surprises me. The real question is, are you folks really sure you want Bobbery back on the water? <laughs> oh, is that it? Now I see. You want to mount an expedition to Keyhole Key? Rough seas out there. Most sailors will meet their ends. Not old Bobbery, though. The fact of the matter is, Admiral Bobbery's tale is sad. Horribly sad, actually. You'll probably end up crying, but I'll tell it to you, if you really want me to. No, I hate sad stories! Fine. In that case, get ready. Aubrey's tale of woe goes something like this. <clears throat> Aubrey was once married. He had a wife of enduring beauty named Scarlet. The two of them were madly in love. A sort of love reserved for fairy tales. Now, Aubrey was a renowned sailor. So he was away from home for long periods. Scarlet never complained, though, and always waited faithfully for Bobbery's return. And Bobbery? His eye never drifted. He loved only Scarlet, truly and deeply. Mm -hmm. So they lived 
and found happiness where they could. And, f and all was good for a time. But not all good things can last. It was a particularly icy winter when it happened. Scarlet felt ill. A virus? A passing cold? No one knew. But it soon turned serious. Bobbery at sea on a long, lonely voyage, knew nothing of his bride's suffering. <laughs> By the time he returned, Scarlet had succumbed. She was gone. Oh no. Bobbery, of course, blamed himself. My loving wife perished because of me. If oh. I were not at sea, I could have nursed her to health. I could have saved her. He was overcome with such thoughts. They tormented him, always haunting his sleep. He has never gone out to sea since. That's sad. Huh. Why does romance so often end in tragedy? Why? I see why he won't sail. You all know his tale now. So tell me, do you still want him to return to the sea? Very well. I understand. If you're that determined, I give you this. This is an old letter to Bobbery. Oh, no. From uh, Scarlet. What? She written this on her deathbed. I mean, yeah, I can read. But, like, on, on her deathbed, Scarlet wrote Bobbery a final letter. You hold it in your hands. I don't know what's written inside. But I can tell you what she has told me when she lay dying. If I should succumb to this plague, and my love should blame himself for my death, then give this letter to him, so he, so he may hear my voice. It was her last request. But when I saw Bobbery in misery, trying to forget the pain as he mourned his wife, I couldn't bring myself to present this letter to him. I've regretted it ever since. Please, take this letter and do the deed I was too cowardly to do. Take it to Bobbery. Thank you, Bobbery. Oh. That had to hurt you to admit. We'll deliver the letter. Let's go, Mario. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mario just smiling the entire time. Oh yeah. Wahoo! But uh, <laughs> a death bed a letter. Oh wahoo! What? Oh, by Blobberton's beard, not you again! No matter how many times you in entreat me, my stance is firm. Now, away with you. Pardon? A letter, you say? For, for me? What? Scarlet! This is Scarlet's handwriting! Scarlet, my love. My love, if you're reading this letter, I am no longer by your side. Because fate has stepped between us, I have decided to write you this letter. If you're reading this, I must have passed away while you are out to sea. I can only assume that you will blame yourself for it. My sweet Bobbery. Although my life was short, you gave me more than a lifetime worth of joy. Though you will mourn, I beg that you remember that. That time, like love, is a tide. You are one with the sea, as you are one with me. Do not lose both your life's loves. Time, like love, is a tide. You are one with the sea, as you are one with me. A, a thousand pardons. May I have a moment alone, if you please? Ah, oh, there's your moment. Yes, love. I was happy. My sweet, sweet Scarlet. I love you still. Ruff. Now then, you're looking for a navigator, I believe? Bound for a keyhole key. Oh, yeah. Alright, if you think that an old sea bot like me is what you need, then let's shove off. I'm no property. Excellent! It's in that back room. Oh, flame. The ship's in the harbor, hmm? I must inspect her before we leave. I shall meet you there. I didn't want to go through Bobbery's house when he was with us. He would have. Uh. He would have acted like, um, he would have acted like Punio, where he would follow behind her partner. 
No, I don't. Shine Sprite! Go on the last, are ye? Try not to die What's or horrible death. Alright then? What was the emo about? God, we got so What's... many... We got so many freaking emos. I'm not going to go over every single freaking one. What was the one you just got? Right fair weather today, eh? Perfect day you said so, if I do say so. Well, it might have been if the whole journey blew in the fairest today. No sorry, Bob. Ah, the smell of the sea. I've forgotten how sweet the scent it can be. I knew you would get bothered on board, you wonderful mustache man, you. To you, I must say, ahoy! I was wise to choose you as a captain. Ahoy oh, to me as well. One guy. Come on. Oh my god. My men have already loaded our cargo and supplies. Yes, preparations are complete. If you have no errand, we can depart at once. What do you say? Shall we set sail? I'm going to tell no, you. Gotta... I'm going to tell you right now. If you have any business at all, do it now. No, not yet. Kick, kick, kick him off. What do you mean, bro? Kick, kick off the enemy. Very well. To the sea. Rise anchor and set sails for frills and emotion. And robots and money. Our destination is Dread Keel. Oh no. It's just a bob. It's just a bob bomb. Oh, I thought someone else was showing up. No, it was just oh, a bob bomb. Okay. We already need to pick that guy off. What guy? The. The, the enemy, obviously. What? what enemy? There's nothing but allies on that ship. This is XI1 no, here. Not. Come back, dude. I repeat. XI1 over here. Over. Roger. Bring you. Bring you five by. Infantry was successful. X not black aboard vessel. Yeah, because X not. Repeat. Yeah. X not black is on board vessel. 